How to use vector layers and symmetry in Flame Painter 4. Now, if you've just got a basic normal layer, just go over there to the symmetry tool, use symmetry, and just apply it like four, setting of four, and just apply a brush stroke. Now, you've got your design there, but it's basically it's destructive. You've actually created it, you can't change it after you've created it. Obviously, you can undo, but that's it. But once you've got it, that's it. Now, what you can also do in Flame Painter 4 is you can actually go and create a vector layer. And vector layers are editable. So they're non-destructive. So you can actually edit them. But unfortunately, you can only apply one brush stroke per layer. So I've just created a new vector layer just via the layer menu. And just create a new vector layer and then just apply a brush stroke. Once you've actually got that, you'll find that the edit vector layer over there in the commands in the tools appears. And when you actually click that, you can actually see all the various points and you get some additional tools. You get the edit path option just down in about the middle there. And you can just edit the first tool. You can just edit the, the points. You can also add and also remove just by clicking on that point. You can remove it. And also you can click on the path to add a point as well. And I'm just going to go back to the edit. And you can, like I say, you've got a second layer. So you can see I've now got layer two. And it will update. You can see it trying to, obviously, just process it and producing the new layer. Every time you change it, you will see that it's reflected in the other parts of the rotational symmetry. So you can just drag that out. And you can see it just changing for all the other parts as well. Now, I'm using the this initial transform thing. So you can actually transform the position, the start point, the angle, of that path as well. So it's, it's a quite a really useful feature for creating all kinds of beautiful designs. It's also live, so you can also change the symmetry as well. You can just change the rotational value, maybe to eight, and you can see it's reflected again. The vector path is still there as a vector layer, and it just will be reflected all of the, the actual rotational sections. Now again, you can still continue to edit the path. So you can just click there and move that around. And you can obviously you can create three, four, five, six, seven, eight vector layers and apply different brush strokes, but only one brush stroke to each of those layers. You can also change all the settings. So there's various settings like the particle system there. You can change lighten for blending, size, opacity, change the brush. You can also change the gradient. You can just go to the gradient, select a different gradient. Just click there and it will again be reflected. The symmetry will be reflected as well. And you can change the colour, image. Some obviously work better than others. And that one or that one and so on and so on. So you can go through all the various tools. It will all be reflected with the symmetry and the vector path, which is still intact and can be edited. And you can obviously select different brushes, go through all the different brushes, a whole range of different brushes. And again, you can shift that point, drag it across, rotate it, then go into that fourth tool there and just drag that out, rotate it, scale it. And again, change the symmetry, rotational symmetry, maybe to four, eight, whatever. And you also got the brush settings. And again, any changes there will be reflected in the actual end design. If you found this of interest, please subscribe. Also, please add some comments. Always great. Thank you much.